This is how legends are made Hey guys and welcome back to the channel so as you can probably see in the background it's new build day we have gone and got ourselves a mercedes e250 blue efficiency so this one will do it has got some amg spec parts it's got it's got original amg alloys and some amg carpets Way right, you've probably seen a little bit of damage up the front there. So, what we got at the back here, we've got the little optional extras of a carbon fiber rear boot spoiler or boot lip. We have got a little scuff down the back here, not too bad. Having a look round, if we come up the front to where the damage is, all right, so. For all of you who have been watching my channel, I finally got a microphone. So hopefully there's no wind noise and the sound should be the same level all the way through. So as we're getting started, as you can see, the front bumper has literally pulled away from the car. And I'll be honest with you, body work wise, that's pretty much all the damage I can see. So if I, where are you gone? open the bonnet up headlight still in one piece looks like it's sitting where it should be front bumper all the clips and brackets believe it or not are all where they should be bonnet I can't find a dent on it and it looks like it's straight well I can't close it properly at the minute because of where the bumper's sitting because it's dropped but the, the wing, where it is aluminium, it's actually torn the inside of the wing off. So I am going to have to replace the wing. Let me just quickly show you. So that piece there is actually part of the wing. It's completely just torn it off. Normally these little brackets break, but it's, instead of breaking the plastic, it's broke the aluminium wing. Now, obviously that's not a lot to be done if all I've got to do is replace and paint a wing. But this is, well, I say a problem, it's probably just a steering arm. But if I show you that front wheel, that's pointing that way. If I come this side, show you that wheel, it's not. Well, it's not as much. It is pretty well bent. So we need to cut these cable ties off as well, but we won't do that at the minute. Do you know what, what I prefer? Because as you've seen in my last two videos, I've done quite a bit with Audis. The difference that I can find between Mercedes and Audi, because this is, this is a 2011 plate E-Class. The white Audi is 2010, black Audi is 2012. So 10, 11, 12. Ignore the passion wagon back there. Is the build quality of the inside. <laughs> I mean, I feel like the steering, it's got the old steering wheel, which I'm, I'm not a big fan of. It does look a bit dated to me. But the rest of the interior looks nice. And the way that they plan things out just just like build things like the knob it looks so much better than the ones in the audi um anything in here that's damaged the seat so you won't be able to see because it doesn't show you very much oh sorry i don't know if you're about to notice this but if i go backwards or forwards rather than the seat going backwards and forwards it tries spinning the chair like it's either come off the runner or there's something blocking it, but I imagine it's come off the runner or 
a motor is broken if there's more than one. I've never mucked around with an electric chair, so I wouldn't know. Full panoramic roof. Let me just grab the key and I'll show you. It's cool. So, let's have a look, ready? Obviously that opens it up, and then the next click of the button, the front part of that roof goes back. How cool is that? I like that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's not a big feature for a lot of people, but I, I really think that's quite smart. So, I mean, I need to fix the seat. I need to fix a wing and bumper. And I need to take the wheel off to see what's bent down there. Hopefully it's just something like a steering arm. And then we replace the steering arm, put tracking on it. Get the, sorry, get the tracking done on it. And then that hopefully is all this one needs. We can get this one knocked out pretty quick. I would say we're getting sold pretty quick, but as you can probably tell, I don't like getting rid of them. <laughs> so, let's get her washed up, see how good she looks clean, and then take it from there. There she is, sexy and clean. Oh, what a shame about that front end. It's a nice car though, isn't it? I've always had a thing for the E-Classes. I think the E-Class Coupes or the Estates are probably the best ones. One of my boys had an E63, the, uh, the saloon. Oh, don't get me wrong, sick car, but unless you've got the E63 saloon, you're driving a taxi. So what we do, normally that would be it for my first videos, where I'll just wash it, show you some of the damage. I am going to snip these cable ties off on this front corner and just see if I can get the bumper to sit somewhat right. Um, just so it looks a bit better sitting on the driveway. And I'll tell you what, I was going to do a whole separate video, but I don't think I've got enough really content to talk about it. This car, why it's still here, it is sold now. It's sold to a friend of mine. Um, there was a story behind this car, and we'll get into that. As you can probably tell from the title, it was, it was a headache. Right, so let's get these bits snipped off. And... See, we can just get that bumper sitting half right with the bonnet completely shut. Right. So I'm open. I should just be able to Lift that up. Yeah, that's somewhat pressed on. Just to see if anything has moved from where it's meant to be.
Right. So it's catching on something. Nothing back there is bent. But that has come off. And it's catching the bottom. Right. So where it's pulled away from all the under tray and the foam block that goes on the crash bar has come away. I can't get it to push back to where it needs to go because everything is stopping it. I just want to get that. You know what I'm saying about the bonnet? There's no dents, it's not crooked, the lines are good. It's just that wing, just that wing. Right, so, I said I'd share a, a story with this car. I thought I was in a world of trouble with this car. So, around my mate knew I was going for MOT. Uh, he was getting ready to pay for it. And I took it for MOT. The MOT test comes out as they do. Took down the VIN number, took down the registration. And he comes out to me and he goes, Stuart, this car's never been involved in an accident. I'm like, it has. I bought it from Copart as a cat S. I've repaired the damage. And then he's sitting and he goes through, he puts the VIN in and he's like, that's not the right number plate. So what do you mean it's not the right number plate? Someone had either stolen the car or was using the car for stealing stuff, but not on the plates of the car, on the plates of some other poor sod who's driving around in a white Audi A6 S line. So there's me sitting there thinking, my car's a ringer. Someone, I've bought a, a stolen car, Copart's done me over. Went on the Copart, had a little look, and they had advertised it with the right number plates, which are what are on it now. But they had sold it to me still with the wrong plates, which I buy straight from insurance companies. So they should have been changed. But as always, no, no one cares. So anyway, cut a long story short, it ended up not being a problem at all. I got a no, applied for the correct logbook because DVLA didn't even tell me I'd applied for the wrong one. They just ignored me. And I got a new set of plates made up, took it back for MOT, and wham bam, she's got a full year on her. Two new front tyres, that's the only thing I had to put on it. So I put two new front tyres on it, and deposit taken, and she is ready to go. Well, I hope you like it with a mic. I'm hoping I do too, because I'm not going to watch any of this until I'm finished. So hopefully it sounds good or I'm going to be quite pissed. I hope you like the new build. And I hope you subscribe. And I hope you, I hope you like. I was about to say something then. Right, so 50% of you who are watching my channel, come back and watch my channel again but you're not subscribed, why? Subscribe, hit the like button. You'll be notified when a new video is out. At the minute, I am currently doing two videos a week, content for you guys. I'm flying through these cars. I've had my YouTube channel open for about a month and a half. I've built those two cars. I built a Volkswagen Scirocco. I'm now about to build a Mercedes. A month and a half and you've got four cars worth of builds. Come on. You ain't getting nothing else like that on other people's channels. I'm still learning. Oh, sorry, hit the mic. I'm still learning. They're only going to get better. Yeah? So come on. Here's a, give us a subscribe and see in a year's time how we ain't building the cars you dream of. All right, anyway, that's enough of my rant. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.